And we're going to go ahead and measure out our fabric and cut it safely with a rotary cutter and our handy dandy ruler. And we are trimming our fabric 7 inches by 10 inches. Okay, so we have our two pieces of batting because this time we're going to make it extra thick. We have our two pieces of fabric for each of the front two seats and we're going to go ahead and get started. And so today what I would love to do is go ahead and make another seat belt cover for the front of Sylvia's car. She saw our seat belt tutorial. She fell in love with it and uh, she said that she would love some for her car. And she is really into the, the grays and the pastels lately. And she does uh, drive a gray car. So with the interior uh, on that darker side, I thought we might perk it up a little bit with some of the yellow and the uh, blue-green flowers in here. However, she doesn't want them to stick out, so I thought this fabric would be just perfect, a very, uh, if you will, muted color, so we could go ahead and create her seat belt covers. Um, but she wanted hers thick. She says it really, really rubs on her neck. So I thought what we would do today is go ahead and create those for her. So we have cut out some fabric and some batting, and it looks like that one's a little bit short for here. And we're going to go ahead and put our fabric pieces to where they are, uh, how do we do this, face to face. And then we're going to put our batting on it. We're going to sew it up and make those seat belt covers real quick with the hoops and loops, hook and loops. So they can uh, close on real easy, open up and be taken off or adjusted if she would like to. So we have those. We're stacking the two battings on top of the two pieces of fabric that are face to face. Remember when you're working with a seat belt, the seat belts are one and three quarters standard size. Uh, so anything given that one and three quarters finished on the three sides to fold together is the fabric size that we're looking for. She wanted hers a little bit more cushiony. So we're using two pieces of batting instead of one. And we're going to go ahead and sew around this, leaving an opening to turn it right sides out to where the batting will be in the center. Then we will affix our uh, hooks and loop all right so let's put those fabrics back face to face real quick and usually here is where you're going to pin all three or four pieces together and we are going to uh, quickly sew around these making sure that we capture all four pieces since we have two pieces of batting inside of our seat belt cover. Okay, we're going to lock stitch at the beginning. And at the end, we're going to back stitch, foot up, pivot, put it down, and bring it around. Looks like I need to go fetch a pair of scissors uh, before we can get done with this project. Left them on the cutting table, that's what I did. All right, and up, down, pivot, and make sure that our pieces of fabric are still all lined up well together. And a little elf has brought me my scissors. So we can trim off the pieces to our quilt that we're working on right now which has the um, uh, pinwheel stars in it. And move that out of the way. And work quickly on our seat belt cover and get that all set up. And 
again, using pins on this real quick project will help prevent uh, the fabric from moving on you and be a lot easier to do. And we're just gonna cut off our corners and any excess bulk. Again, I'm doing this super, super fast. So we have that to show for you. At home, I want you to use pins. Well, we're gonna put our fingers in between the two pieces of quilters fabric, cotton fabric, and we're gonna put our finger through. We're gonna pull it right out like we do our soup bowl cozies and any of a hundred other projects I do like this. And put our fingers in the next point, bring it through. Open that up, pop the second one on the sewing machine and do that for us real quick. I might even run out and hook these on her car and then hopefully she will be pleasantly surprised when next she sits in her car. All right, let's get that other fourth corner out. We can't have that oblong. All right, get that corner out of there. There we go. And looks like we can grab our other piece and we're gonna make sure these are all laying straight. Looks like that one piece is a little bit wider. The fabric looks good. We're gonna start right in the center here, center of one of the bottoms. And down, up. around needle down up pivot yourself a good three inches so you can get your fingers in there and turn it around. Um, hopefully you can see that how I have it stitched. I have this part open. Now I'm going to stick my fingers in between the two pieces of fabric to turn it. So I have it right in between the fabric and then we're going to turn it after we snip off our points real quick here. making sure not to snip off any of your points. I don't want to have you see that a little bit closer. Okay, so here we have snipped, not touching any of the, let me see if I can get us in focus, get us in focus, any of the corners, but we have trimmed those off, trimmed those off trimmed those off and now we're going to take it right where the opening is right here between these parts right here we're going to put our fingers right in between the two of these and we're going to turn it right side out okay and when we are turning these right sides out um, if you have a corner if we can see that corner there that uh doesn't want to poke out. If we can't manipulate that, we can simply grab a pen and pull that right out. Okay, so I got myself a pen and I'm simply gonna take each of the corners 
and I'm going to pull those out, making sure that I have a bit of a point to each one. And this is the one that didn't want to cooperate. So I'm going to take my needle in here and just pull, readjust, needle inside and pull it out, needle inside, pull it out. And now we have our point. So again, if we can't get it with our fingers, we can get that point using a simple needle. Sorry about the focusing there. Okay, and then we're going to take it where we have our seam, and we're simply going to fold this over, make sure that our batting is there, and we're going to go all the way around the outside edge. Okay, so let's see if we can uh, show you here with our sewing machine and go around the outside edge of our fabric. Let's get ourselves turned on. And we have this part, we're just gonna hold that, make sure we have all four. And we're gonna start at the very top of that. And we are simply gonna sew a scant quarter inch or maybe an eighth inch from the edge um, of the fabric. And we're gonna go all the way around. And needle down, foot up, pivot and go down the next side. And we get to the corner, needle down, foot up, pivot, and we keep going around the other two sides. Okay, now when we get to the end here, we want to come right up to our stitching, slightly go over the stitching, and lock it all in. And we're just barely going on the edge of that fabric. Then we have over stitched. We're gonna come up here, push the reverse stitch and lock in that stitch. Okay, and if we wanna take a look at that turning one more time, just stick our fingers in here. We're gonna pull it up, gather it up, stick our thumb all the way to the point on the other side. And we're gonna push the point through hold on to it and then we're going to pull the rest just like we do our fabric folds no different and then stick our finger in another point we're holding it with the two fingers pushing it through we have that point and we can go back in and push out the third and fourth points as well and if we're using our finger and really pushing in that corner we don't have much to do left with the needle to uh, push the corners out. And then we're gonna simply top stitch and then we'll add our hooks and loops and be all complete with our project. All right, so let's lay that out flat. Take our opening, we're gonna fold it in and sew it right along that seam before we go around the rest of the project. So now we have our hooks and loops and we've got to decide, are we going to do it the entire length or in two different spots like we did uh, the other project. And I've chosen a hook and loop that best matches the uh, pattern that we have, the best colors. Okay, so we have our four pieces of hooks and loop. Let's go ahead and split them apart and affix them to our seat belt covers. And we're just going to go ahead and sew it on. Sewing down one side, needle down, pivot. Straight down the short side, needle down, pivot. Straight down the other side. And 
pivot now. If we thought Sylvia or the owner of this was going to put it on and remove it uh, a lot or constantly from her car or change up colors, we would do another second round or even third round. However, I've done a tight stitch, 12 uh, stitches per inch. I've knotted it on um, at least two of the corners. I don't know if I did the four corners, but two of the corners. So we are going to go ahead and leave it like that. So we're gonna needle up, pull it up, and we're gonna trim that thread right at the fabric. And then we're gonna come down and do the other side. So we have that affixed here. We're gonna affix the next one, identical kind right down here. Then we're gonna flip it over and do the other two on the opposite side of the fabric because remember, it's gonna reach around and grab. Okay, my friends, so now we have the two pieces of hook and loop on one side and we're going to flip it over and see how they're on the back of this. We're gonna do them on the top of this. So we're gonna put the two in corresponding spaces on the opposite side that we put the hook and loop on the other side. Okay, so I'm so excited. I have the piece here and a piece here of the hooks and loop and then a piece here and a piece here on the other side of the hooks and loop. So now all we have to do is wrap it around the seat belt and fasten those closed around the seat belt. And of course it'll look uh, so much better when I use two hands and put it around the seat belt. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So that is gonna be a little bit of perk and happiness in uh, Sylvia's car. Uh, so if I can sneak out there and if it's unlocked, we might uh, go ahead and put those on the car uh, without her knowing it. So I just have to finish up the uh, second one and do the same thing. But I'm so glad you joined me today. And thank you, thank you. This is such a quick project. Take advantage of this. Put this in all of your vehicles and uh, have fun with them. All kind of colors, all kind of fun. And if you don't have the batting like I use for inside of the quilt, inside of this. If you don't have the batting, this is a project. You can use an old sweatshirt. You can use uh, a flannel. You can use anything you want for that cushy cushy inside of your pretty little seatbelt cover. And again, moms and dads, if you're going to have the kids' friends over and they're going to be getting into the fridge, pop this around the handle of the refrigerator, and that way you're going to save yourself some grief and grime. Just unhook that, throw it in the washing machine, throw it in the dryer, and pop that right back on the fridge. So again, enjoy, make these, take advantage of them, and I hope you have had fun today. So thank you so much for joining me. Y'all hit the subscribe button down below because I've got so many more projects I cannot wait to share with you. Have a great day. Bye. All right, my friends. So we are sneaking inside of Sylvia's car and I've got one hand doing this, but here is her um, seat belt. And we're gonna go ahead and put that right on the seat belt inside of her car, make it a little bit perkier and happier. Okay. Okay, and I have just hooked that onto the seat belt, um, so I wanted you to see it. I've just hooked the seat belt in there so you get a feel for. It's going to come out, go across her neck, and give her some nice, comfortable cushion there and a little bit of color. And uh, just wanted to, uh, to show you. It all matches. Looks great. Have a great day, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today.